Magandang Hapon, good afternoon my friends and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of the Philippines guys and in today's video we're actually now over in Makati so it's my first time exploring this area and we're going to be taking you with us we're actually only in Makati for a few moments because this is where I'm staying but we're heading over towards BGC so we're going to be walking I think probably part of the way and then after that I'll probably hop in a cab, hop in a tuk-tuk something like that we shall see what happens at this point we're just going with today's adventure so let's get into it and head over this way so guys i'm doing the walk is at least partially the way from makati over to bgc number one because i want to see what the city is like or like these two cities are like and number two it is rush hour so i guess this street right here is pretty fast moving at the moment but the street that i just came off uh was like so crowded i was actually walking faster than the traffic so yeah, I figured I'm gonna walk part of the way, see what we can see. And I can tell you like this part of like the greater Manila area is so modern, all of the architecture. And generally you're not gonna find as much like street food in these areas. There's probably like some sort of ordinances so they're not allowed to be, you know, like all over this area. That's why, you know, you kind of just see people walking in this area and a bunch of different like corporate buildings. And so, you know, it's a different twist to the area. One thing I can tell you, you can find everywhere in this city is 7-elevens literally since i started walking i wasn't filming all of it i have seen like 20 of them so as you guys can see i'm making some pretty good progress to get over to bgc at about 4 20 p.m so sun's gonna be setting here in probably like 45 minutes so we'll get to see a bit but uh yeah it's just a really nice walk because you know like it's just a, a different feel after spending a lot of time already so far in the greater manila area it's like it's crazy you can go i think this area is like 30 minutes away from where i was staying before and get a completely different experience overall uh, a lot more like highways and infrastructure in this area and the, as you can see the streets are very clean here you can't find that much trash and litter uh you know a couple pieces here and there uh, but aside from that just a, a really clean area yeah guys it's great that they have these uh stairwells that brings us across because i was like how the heck am i going to get across this street across that like gas station area i was like there's no way i'm able to cross that street but here it goes we've got a nice escalator to bring us up to the top we're making good timing hopefully we'll make it there before the uh sun goes down though we shall see okay long good answer all right, now we're going this way, crossing over. Kamosa hey. Kuyo! Okay lang? Okay lang. Anong pangalang mo? Roderick Franse. Roderick Franse. All right, the man. Yes. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes. Okay. So it looks like that's the way we get across right down here. And that should get us there. This is a uh, busy spot over here. As you can see. So this is where all the uh, locals are hopping on the bus to get out here. Very busy. Come on, come on. And guys, it's going to be a long walk still. We've got 30 minutes to get there. Excuse me. All right. And the question is, how do we get to uh, how do we get to the other side of the street? I need to put the bridge. The bridge again? Oh, okay. Salamat kuya. Thank you very much. Hey, there he is. See you later, brother. Oh, yeah, this is confusing, guys. Once you take it once or twice, you learn it. But I walked all the way over there, got stuck at the buses, and there's actually another bridge to get across the next set of lanes right over here. And that's how we're going to get over there. So it's nice to have the uh, pedestrian crosswalks. But, yeah, it's confusing. Okay. Como esta cacuya? Okay, Long? Perfect. And let's see here. All right, now we're making the progress we were looking for. One last cross, a picketing office. So there's a metro here. I wonder if we can take the metro to BGC. Hello, brother. Does this metro go to BGC? BGC. Yeah, okay, so it's, yeah, correct? All right, perfect. Salamat kuya. Thank you. All right. So we got to get the BGC from here. Hello, Kamos Uh I need to go to BGC. No, 13, okay. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, 13 on the dot. Yeah, it's in my backpack. Okay. 
Salamat. Salamat, Ate. Come on to Kuya, Ate. Salamat, Ate. Welcome. Hola. Alright. Okay. Oh. oh. There we go. Salamat, Kuya. And which side do I go for uh, BGC? Which side for BGC? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next station. Next station. Salamat. All right, guys, there's definitely one thing that I do not like is that I'm triple vax and I still need to wear a mask just in the metro station, but hey, it is what it is. All right, this is where we're going. Hey, brother, uh, which side is uh, BGC? Left side? On the right side. Salamat kuya. All right, so we're getting on the uh, train for our second time ever, and I'm guessing it's this one. The BGC. I don't know. Uh, excuse me? Is BGC this side or this side? Like BGC area? This side. This side. Okay, Salamat Kuya. Alright, well, we found it. So it's gonna be this side, I think one station, and then we're there. Not sure how often these come, but uh, pretty often, I'm assuming, at rush hour. Alright, we got the metro coming right here, so. We waited about two, three minutes and it is here. Wow, it's gonna be a busy one as you can see. So many people are on the uh, metro today. I think we're going just one stop though, but it is air conditioning, like air conditioned I hope. We shall find out here real soon though. This is rush hour on the train. Well, all right, yeah, it's gonna be a tight one as you can see here. We got room, oh, sorry. Yeah, real tight. All right, this is gonna be one of the most packed metros I've been on. <laughs> but it is AC though, so we can cool down. Como esta cuyo? Oh, all right. Next stop, we're go. All right, so I think we're going just one one stop. Is uh, BGC the next stop? Oh, nope. BGC the next stop? What? Is that BGC? Yes. The next one, yeah? Salamat cuya. Okay, that's quite quiet on the uh, metros. I think you're in the wrong train. This isn't to BGC? No, the other way. Oh, the other way, okay. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you letting me know. Well, I don't know why our, our friend uh, that we met told me to get on this one then. But, uh, well, we get a few moments to cool off on the metro, so that's not too bad. Sounds like my GPS even knows we're going the wrong way. Let's turn that off here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, guys, probably the simpler solution would have been to just put in BGC into Google Maps. But it is more fun to figure it out without using the maps sometimes here. Oh, yeah, the walking time's definitely increasing. All right. So it looks like right here in the metro. Oh. Recommended route. So it looks like this brought us right to Guadalupe. It looks like a cool area. Okay, so we're gonna go back the way we came. All right. I was surprised. Like, I, I know everyone here speaks English and only one out of like 200 people replied on how to get there. So, but that's okay. It's probably uh, a bit awkward when we're all uh, super tight on the metro to give directions maybe. But here we go. Now we got to get to the other side, hop on that station, and then do the process all over again. So here we go. Okay. Oh, I think I got to put this one in. Yeah, single journey ticket right there. Okay, and now we're good. Guys, I would recommend if you're going to be taking the metro a lot when you're exploring the Philippines, definitely get a multi-use card because if you don't have a multi-use card, then you'll have to stand in line every single time to uh, get a ticket, which can be a pain, you know, but uh, that's all right. I think this is going to get us to the metro station on the other side. I think. 
Or maybe we're going the wrong way. Okay. All right, let's check this out. Metro station. All right. Wow, that's the traffic, guys. That's why they want to take the metro at this hour. That is insane. And I'm assuming this is going to be the way down to the other side of the metro so we can retrace our steps back. Hello, Kamal uh, Can I get BGC? Uh, Bonificio? Uh, bon BGC, Bonificio? Uh, BGC, uh, Ayala. is that BGC? So you have to go down to Ayala, take yeah. and then uh, uh, just ask if there's any more here. Okay. Oh, perfect, okay. Salamat, thank you. Salamat Ate. Oh, right there, yeah. Yeah, you have to wear a Okay, Salamat, thank you very much for your help. All right, we've got the, uh, let's see here. Check this one? Yes. All right, so. All right, all right. Don't worry, I'm a vlogger, not a threat. You're a vlogger, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we'll see you at Ayala. Oh, okay, there's a female only section over here, so I guess this is the one we gotta hop on. So it seems like only going in the uh, direction the other way, the uh, wrong way that I went. That's when it's busy. People are very shy in the metro here. But uh, we're heading back this way, guys. And I think we're taking it to Ayala. I don't know why the uh, guy before gave me the direction to go this way. He probably didn't understand that I said BGC, but uh, we're gonna get there. Hopefully before the sun sets. But uh, the good news is we got some time to be in the uh, air con, which is quite nice. Cause I'm sweating after being in the uh, Manila humidity. As you can see, we can see a nice view of the city from here. Yeah, definitely a much more modern site, especially comparing it to where I stayed the first first uh, week or so in the Chinatown area. All right, I think we have made it to the stop we meant to get off after like 25 minutes of waiting Ayala. And then from here, there's like a bus or something to get to BGC. So we shall see how this is possible. It looks like this is the uh, exit station. We're going this way and Okay, right out this way. Oh, after you, sir. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Nope, oh, doesn't work. Oh, okay. All right, we've hit a bottleneck. After you. All right. Now the question is, where to from here? Probably. One Ayala might be the way. Oh, we got Subway Eat Fresh, right when you walk out. Seems like that's the only option that's open at this time. Bus bays. So if we are gonna take a bus, that's gotta be the way to do it. Now it depends, if it's a short walk to get to BGC from here, which I'm gonna check on the maps, then I'm gonna do the walk just because I like walking. But if it's a long walk still, I am definitely going to be taking the bus just to get that experience. Okay, so bus station to BGC? Yes, yes sir. This way, yeah? No. Salamat. Right, then go down. Okay, Salamat. Go to Pelus building. Pelus? Yes, sir. Okay, Salamat Panti. <laughs> Alright, northbound exit. So this is the one. I should have planned ahead. Should have left the uh, apartment like two hours earlier. If I knew the uh, transportation logistics were going to be a little more complex. But uh, hey, that's all part of the fun adventure. Yeah, that was definitely a bad decision. I should have walked from where I was at then, rather than taking the metro. Because the metro, someone gave me the wrong directions, went the complete wrong way. And then now where it just dropped me off, unless I take the bus, it's a 41 minute walk. So, well, that's the fun in it, right? That makes it easy. It says BGC bus. So that's definitely gotta be the bus. <laughs> All right, hope we can make it on this one. I'm not sure what the cost is, but we shall see. I guess we walk down this way to get on? I have no idea. Okay, well people are running. Makes me feel like I should be running if we want to get on this BGC rider. Okay, well. Oh crap, what do I do if I don't have a card? Uh, do you know if I can pay on the bus? Can I pay uh, on the bus? Over here, okay. 
All right, so the third ticket of the trip. <laughs> Minimum load 20. Okay, well, we got 20 in coins, so that should be doable. Hello, Kamusta. Can I have a single ride to BGC, please? Yes, sir. 13 pesos. Spot. 13, okay. That is 5, 10, 15, okay. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. Salamat. All right, we got the ticket. Single ride for 13 pesos. So that comes out to. Uh, all right, let's go. Stick that thing right there. And oh, QR yes, code. Yes. All right, okay. Salamat. All right, which one's the faster one? Yes, sir. Where are you going? Uh, BGC. Where's in the BGC? Where's the best place to go? Yes, all the bus is BGC. Uh, where where should I get off for the best place in BGC? We should. This one? Yes, sir. How many yes, stops? Oh, yeah. How many stops, Kuya? Yes. Five, three stops? Three stops. Three stops? Yes. Okay. All right, well, we're just going to take this one. I don't know how many stops we'll take, but we'll just get off where it looks interesting. All right, found the BGC bus. It looks like two of them arrive at once, probably because there's just that much traffic. And I'm guessing they're probably two separate routes. That's purely a guess. But uh, yeah, we're going to take this Go a few stops and wherever it looks interesting, I'll watch on the map and then we'll hop off. All right, we're getting on the uh, bus here. So that was the nice part. Since we're number three in line, we've got a lot of options for seats. Probably pick one close to the door so we can get on and off easily. Kuya. All right. That was the longest journey to get down here of my life. One hour and 40 minutes from Makati to BGC. So, well, now we know. Rush hour is not the time to be uh, traveling to this area. But uh, aside from that, we made it. And as you probably guessed, I didn't record on the bus because it was pretty packed and uh, we were sitting there for so long in traffic, guys. There was nothing even entertaining to show you. But uh, yeah, now we're here. This is literally a completely other version of Manila. This reminds me of like Chicago right now. I mean, just from this perspective, obviously, like uh, I mean that by like the uh, civil design of this area the massive condo and apartment skyscrapers and just like you know thought put into everything in terms of the designs and the restaurants really nice restaurants all over here guys i did want to show you this place during the uh, day in this video but it is cool to see it at uh, night because you can see like every once in a while you'll see some lights flash through here and it almost looks like they're in sync with the other buildings wait for it so you see a flash down there and now they're stopping huh Wow, I was just walking guys and I pulled my camera out and now they stopped. We're gonna keep an eye out for it. That's Shangri-La though. That's a uh, incredibly nice hotel, like ultra luxury in this area. Okay, so you can see a couple lights just going through and it literally looks like they're all in sync with the buildings, like a light's going through all of them. It's pretty awesome to see that. You guys, so we're gonna be coming up to uh, High Street, which is like the most well-known part of the BGC area so many shops and restaurants and i'm not even sure what else we're gonna find the uh, downside is we're not showing you it during the day but uh, don't worry we'll be back and we will definitely show you what it's like during the day as well okay so yeah you can see that's our, how popular of a place it is bonificio high street right there and it looks like there's all types of what is it shops and markets down there we'll take a little stroll down there and see what we can find all right well we've got some brands we recognize like jamba juice down there so we're walking through some like uh sculpted plants getting down here and there's tents up for something i'm not entirely certain what it seems like some sort of event oh yeah this is the high-end area we've got uh, the rolex shops right up there and just quite a mix of uh stuff adidas shops on the left shake shack an absolute classic and it looks like a huge oh we got some little cats twins you guys so i walked down a little bit and we are going to find ourselves something delicious to eat i figured before i continue showing you this place i gotta get some food in my stomach because i am fading my friends i am fading it was such a long ride to get here that it like you know when you're just like sitting there in traffic for so long it just totally takes out your energy that's how i feel right now so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to try a little pizza from Manila. This looks like the spot. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's open. Come on, the car. You got pizza here, and you're open. Oh, we're already closed. Oh, you're closed. Yes, sir. For the day. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a. Uh, what time did you close at? 
Uh, we're close at 6, sir, until closing. We have a reservation. Oh. Close reservation, sir. 6.23, so I missed the pizza by 23 minutes. That's a bummer. Salamat sir, kuya. We're, we're only up to the port takeout, sir. What? Port takeout. Oh, for takeout. Can I order and uh, get it delivered outside of the door? Of course. No? Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Well, the bad news is we won't be eating here. So we're going to go down a little further and see what we can find. I would have never guessed that a place would close at 6 p.m. That's incredibly early. Yeah, but it is a vibrant city at night. We've got the big BGC letters right there. A light all the way up that building. And I don't know. I think I'm going to go straight. Hopefully we can find some food down this way. Oh, guys, and just when we thought the day couldn't get any more interesting, now it is starting to rain. So I think we got to find a spot to go get an umbrella. Let's uh, head over this way. And all right, I think we found ourselves a 7-Eleven. Let's head on in and check it out. All right, we're going to have to get ourselves an umbrella here because of the rain. So uh, let's see how we even get one of these out. Okay, well, there we go. We got Secret Service here. Okay, long. Impromptu purchase. So, guys, as you can see, should be a good one. We should still be able to see out of this. Yes. Are you a future subscriber, Tim? Oh, you might be, yeah? <laughs> Let's see here. We got a uh, card there for you. <laughs> Future subscriber, Tim? <laughs> Salamat. Salamat. And uh, mug caro for this nice umbrella? Uh, $1.99. One oh, we got a special deal today. Salamat. That's yeah, I thought the price tag said like two twenty nine, dollars so uh, that means we're getting a great deal. Oh, okay, 209, all right. I might have a uh, nine. Yes. Let's see. Oh, and I found it. Huh? We got nine, right? Oh, we got a 10, actually. 300, what? Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got a brand new umbrella. Let's try this thing out. Oh, ho, ho. fresh out of the box. Salamat, 10. Okay. Got a garbage, I think, right there. And great news, my friends, we got ourselves a brand new umbrella for like uh, just about four US dollars. Let's hit the button. Oh, ha ha! Rain, you can't get me now. That is fantastic. Kamostaka, need the umbrella? Okay, okay, long. All right, so we're gonna explore this now with a brand new umbrella. And of course, we just buy the umbrella and now the rain is like slowing down a little bit, but. Uh, you know, you never know when it's gonna start again, so it's better to have it than not. Guys, well the good news is, is it pretty much has stopped raining at this point. I still got the umbrella up because at the moment, you can still feel like drops or like water here and there coming off the buildings, but uh, you know, we're making the best of it. We're making the best of being down in uh, BGC at night. And it is a super cool place, guys. This reminds me of like at night, like uh, Chicago or New York. So it's uh it's an awesome place. It definitely makes me want to come back during the day on like a sunny day and see what it's like over here. Look at this though, like they even have like mosaic walls built in around the landscaping and all the trees are lit up. Such a cool city. The main difference like being here versus like, you know, in some of the other places I've been in Manila, there's like a lot of like opportunities for like uh, street stands and interactions with the locals. Okay, now. okay, long. That's perfect. There we go. I jinxed it. We're getting some uh, good interactions here still. I guess we got to keep the camera rolling and up like this. Nope. And so yeah, just look at this. Like so modern and uh, wow, such a different feel over here in BGC. We've got some awesome looking coffee shops here. Like so modern, called Because Coffee there, and looks like we're getting right over here. A view of High Street, one Bonificio. Look at these, we've got fountains that are lit up in the distance. And such a cool place to be. 
looking at. And look at this building right up here. You have just like these like zigzag lights all the way up to the top. Central Square, of course, we've got another mall there. And right there, I mean, we're getting like a, a feeling of Times Square right here with this exotic looking advertisement TV screen that stretches all the way along the side of that building. And we're gonna take a walk down this way. I think right here. And we shall see. All right, right down here, it looks like we've got like a sports bar, burgers, chili dogs, a few other restaurant establishments all along the uh, area. Yeah, this is when I wish it wasn't, wasn't uh, raining out. And apparently, if you look at this sign right here, there's actually T-Rexes that are known for crossing this street. T-Rex crossing, why did the chicken cross the road? To visit its grandpa, stand the T-Rex at the mine museum. Look left before crossing. Wow, all right, now that's uh, 10 out of 10 marketing right there. All right, guys, luckily the uh, rain stopped, so I've taken the umbrella away. But at this point, I'm kind of just walking around the city. And, you know, it's pretty enjoyable to walk around this place when it's not raining, let's say. And we're a little closer to the W, and you can see how they have, like, just some of these accent lights leading up, making this, like, aesthetic design. Guys, so right over here in the uh, center of the, like, BGC High Street, you can find so many restaurants, like literally of every type of cuisine. We got Friday's American Bar, we got JBL speakers sold right there, Pet City. I mean, those are for shops, and then we also have a lot of restaurants. Seattle's Best Coffee, iStudio, and we are going to try out one of these foul bread burgers here. I saw that from afar, so I'm thinking we might have to check this one out. Scam chicken sandwich, foul bread cheeseburger. This looks like the spot. I'm looking to get some like Western food right now because I haven't really had any since I've arrived to the Philippines. So I figured might as well test it out and see what we can get. Kamosta ka kuya. Hi sir. Hello, you have the best burgers in all of BGC, yeah? Yes sir. Oh, that's Our perfect. Our best sellers are the OG sir. The uh, fowl bread? Fowl bread, cheeseburger, and the OG sir. Ooh, that's, I think that's going to be the one, yeah? Yes sir. All right. And it looks like it's a double patty. Sorry, double oh, double that, sir, and double sir. so I'll be pretty full after that, yeah? Yes. Oh, that sounds fantastic. And how long does it take to make a burger? 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, perfect. That's a great amount of time. All right. I'll take uh, one of those, please. Cheeseburger, sir. Uh, yeah, the foul bread cheeseburger. Uh, no tomatoes, though. And then. Meal, sir, or solo? Sorry? Meal, or solo, sir? Uh, I'll Meal, do sir, just. Uh, just solo, please. Yeah, and then uh, iced tea. Anything else, sir? You know, I think that should be it for today, please. For dining, sir? Uh, for, yeah, hey, let's do dining. For 100 minutes. Thank you. Anong pangalang mo, kuya? 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. And anong pangalang mo? I mean, it's James, sir. James. Nice to meet you, James. Thank you, sir. So James is taking care of us with the best burger in this area. Wait a minute, sir. Perfect. Just gotta get my card back. Yeah. Salamat kuya. All right, so we've got a spot right over here we're gonna be eating at. And yeah guys, this is right here. It's called Foul Bread. I don't know if you can see the sign when I was walking up. And it's like right down here in the high street area. So I'm super excited to try this. You have uh, Filipino beers here? Yes sir, we have San Miglite and Pilsen. Oh perfect, can I order one of those too? Yes, I didn't- Light sir or Pilsen? Uh, which one's better? Light sir. Okay, we'll do one light. Guys, I saw when I went to sit down that they have uh, beers all along here. So I was like, you know, I haven't tried a, uh, maybe I tried one or two Filipino beers so far since I've been here. But I don't know if I've tried it on camera. So I figured we're gonna have to add that to the uh, menu here. Yes, sir. Magkano kuya? 85 pesos. 85, all right, that's a great deal. And you're from Manila, brother? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a nice city. Yes, sir. And this, is this a uh, new burger spot or it's been around for a while? The only one? Yes, sir. And it's new? How many years? Five years, sir. Five years, okay. That's how you know it's a good burger spot, guys. Right down here, prime real estate, and it's uh, survived five years and surviving and thriving. When you got burgers on the menu like this, this reminds me uh, back in the U.S. of Culver's, a very, very attractive looking burger. When I was walking by, I was like, I need to try one of these. Salamat, Ate. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this thing. Oh yes, that looks incredible, absolutely incredible, I need some napkin. Oh look at this, so it looks like we've got some like sliced pickles, 
some sort of like specialty sauce on there and two patties that are just nice and hot. So this right there, that is gonna be an absolute mouthful. All right guys, I'm so excited to try what a Filipino version of like a high quality burger is like. Cause I've had Jollibee, but I haven't had like an actual like gourmet burger yet. All right, let's go ahead and dig right in. Oh my God. That is freaking incredible. The uh, meat's like, you know, it's nice and oily and juicy. The sauce they use on there, I'm guessing that's some sort of mayo mixed in with something else. It gives it that like light pinkish taste. And those pickles, they aren't like overpowering. You know how like some pickles can be like super overpowering? This is just the right amount and a nice squishy bun. Mm. That is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Mm. This reminds me of like going to a really high-end burger place in the United States. Like this gives competition to In-N-Out, this gives competition to Culver's. If you're from the U.S. and have heard of those burger chains, they're like some of um, the U.S.'s best. But like this is absolutely incredible. I mean, I could tell from the photo how good it looked and the way they specifically, the way they cooked their patties, I was going to be in love with it. And by the way, this was like 450, 480, something like that. So that comes out to, you know, roughly $8. So we are here in BGC. And uh, when I had the camera turned off, I was actually talking to a Chinese man who lives here. And he was, he's, uh, I don't know what city he's from in China, but he's like, oh yeah, yeah BGC is expensive to live here. And so that puts it into perspective, you know, $8 for a uh, gourmet burger right here. But uh, let me tell you this, it is well worth it with how delicious this is. Mm. That is hitting the spot. And then we've got the uh, San Miguel Light to mix it up with. Very delicious beer. It's a light beer, but don't be fooled. It is 5% alcohol, so that thing will get you going. I would relate this light beer to like, I'm trying to think. Like you're, you know, like a, I don't know a specific country to relate it to, but it's very, very tasty. Like it, it's so tasty, it's even like refreshing. Like if you're drinking a glass of water. Nothing like a beer and a burger, my friends. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. That is G triple O D, my friends. Good, good, good. Guys, I have finished off that plate besides the one pickle that fell out of the burger. And that was, honestly, for burgers, that's a 10 out of 10. I kid you not, that is literally a 10 out of 10. One of the best burgers I have had while traveling, without a doubt. And it's so crazy because I could just tell the way that picture of the burger was, if you remember, when I uh, first walked up, that it was gonna be like so mouth-watering. Ah, cheers, my friends. Salama James, very delicious. Best, best burger in the entire country. Salamat. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That was freaking incredibly delicious. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable how good that was. I don't know if I was just super hungry from walking around all day, but I can tell you that hit the spot times 10. <laughs> wow. Yeah, guys, so now I'm gonna walk back to Makati. I could take a taxi, but honestly, I wanna get that walk after a massive burger and a beer just to burn it off, you know? But now it's saying 49 minutes, and keep in mind, guys, when I went down here, it ended up taking me, I want to say like almost two full hours because I did the transportation. I, I did go the wrong way because there were some misunderstandings. Uh, but aside from that, like it would have, I found it would have been faster at rush hour for me to walk from Makati. It would just been like obviously super hot. So that's why I'm like, I'm going to do the walk back, see what it's like. And uh, yeah, it was fun exploring this place, but I definitely want to check it out during the day when it's not raining. Because, you know, it's hard to explore this place when it was raining, then it wasn't. And it took me a while to get down. And, uh, yeah, guys, overall, just a really modern vibe out here. And, like, I was about to say, this place reminds me of New York. And it says right there, Frankie's New York Buffalo Wings. You got bars along there, right along the uh, edge of the street. Yellow Cab. I believe that's a pizza restaurant, maybe. 
and Army Navy. There's just so many burgers, brat spots, or burgers fed pizza spots. Just like typical like Western food all over here. We've even got a massive Starbucks there, which you'll find all over here. So yeah, it's uh, interesting to just walk around and just see, you know, like the more modern the city, the more similarities you find in all the modern cities in the world. Just a lot of like, you know, well-designed places, ATMs everywhere, banks everywhere, and high-end restaurants. And you know, the typical noises you hear when driving through a city. But yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Like walking through this downtown versus walking through like Benando, it's just, it's a night and day difference in every possible way. Like you have trash receptacles, you have cleanliness everywhere. So, you know, like, don't get me wrong though, exploring Benando and Chinatown is super cool because it's the oldest, you know, Chinatown in the uh, world. But, you know, it's also cool to see the other side of it where it's like the clean modern side of this part of the uh, Manila, greater Manila area. Guys, I didn't have the camera out, but we just made it to Buendia. If you remember earlier at the beginning of this video, this is that bridge that I got so confused at. It's awesome. Now that I've walked it once, now I kind of like I'm figuring out the way to go and everything. And so we are about 24 minutes away and the walk's not bad. Like the unfortunate part is you have to walk along a highway. So it's a really narrow sidewalk. But like other than that, like, you know, it's not a bad walk to walk that distance and get some exercise, you know? Oh, this is a tight little sidewalk to get through here. And let's see, we made it through. All right. We gotta figure out how to get up. Oh, probably right over here. So yeah, guys, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed coming along the adventure. Definitely uh, not the most successful video because of all the uh, twists and turns we hit, but definitely a fun adventure nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.